My topic to present here is transpose and trace of a matrix. So here our aim is to find the transpose of a matrix. Now let us move on to the theory part. So in order to get the transpose of a matrix, we interchange its rows and columns so that we get the transpose of a matrix which can be denoted as A raised to T if A is the original matrix. Here we have several examples to show the transpose of a matrix. Now we are considering a 2 by 2 matrix and if we interchange its rows and columns we get a 2 by 2 matrix itself. Now let us see what uh, happens for uh, in the case of a 3 by 3 matrix. If in the case of 3 by 3 matrix if we interchange its rows and columns we obtain a 3 by 3 matrix itself. But this is not the case of a 3 by 4 matrix. In case of 3 by 4 matrix if we uh, interchange its rows and columns we obtain 4 by 3 matrix and that is the transpose of that matrix. Now let us move on to the program part of transpose of a matrix. We can find out this transpose of a matrix using numpy and without using numpy. If we are using numpy first we need to import numpy and if we are uh, not using numpy we need not import numpy. Transpose of a matrix using numpy. Here our first step is to import uh, numpy. Then we need to enter the rows and columns of the matrix. Then we should enter the elements and finally we can uh, print uh, the transpose of the matrix. And after completing the uh, pro or after getting appropriate results we can stop the program. These are the steps for transpose of a matrix using numpy. Now transpose of a matrix without numpy. Here our first step is to enter the order of the matrix that is mn. Now in step 2 0 tends to j and 0 tends to i. If i is less than m then go to step 4 and else we need to go to step 8 and if j is uh, less than n then we need to go to step 5 or else we can go to step 7. Now we need to enter the elements a i j. If j plus 1 tends to j then we need to go to step 4. If i plus 1 tends to i and 0 tends to j then we need to go to step 3. And again we have 0 tends to j and 0 tends to i. And if i is less than m then we need to go to step 10 else we need to go for step 12. And if j is less than n then we need to go to step 11 and else we need to go to step 13. Now we need to print a i j. And here if j plus 1 tends to j then we need to go to step 10 and if i plus 1 tends to i and 0 tends to j then we need to go to step 9. And finally after getting the appropriate result we can stop our program. So this is all about transpose of a matrix uh, with and without using numpy. Now let us learn about the trace of a matrix. So here our aim is to find the trace of a matrix. Now moving on to the theory part. The sum of diagonal elements of a square matrix is called its trace. And we know that a square matrix is a matrix with same number of rows and same number of columns. For example, we can say that a 2 by 2 matrix, a 3 by 3 matrix, these are all square matrices. So trace can be denoted as TR of A if A is a given matrix. Now we can find the trace of a matrix by using numpy and without using numpy. Uh, as explained earlier, if we are using numpy, we need to import numpy. If we are not using or we, we are not using numpy, we need not we need not import numpy module. So trace of a matrix you uh, using numpy. Here our first step is to enter the order of the matrix uh, m of m comma n. Before that, we we need to import numpy module. 
then if m is not equal to n then print uh, print matrix is not a square matrix and we need to go to step 5 then we need to um, enter the matrix element elements row wise and we should list the matrix form then finally print the trace of a matrix and after obtaining appropriate result we can stop our program now trace of a matrix without using numpy here we need not uh, use uh, numpy or we need not import numpy here our first step is to enter the order of the matrix mn if m uh, is not equal to n then we need to print matrix is not a square matrix then if 0 tends to i and 0 tends to j our fourth step is if i greater than n then we need to go to step 9 and if j greater than n we need to go to step 8 then we should enter the elements a i j if j plus 1 tends to j then we need to go to step 5 and if i plus 1 tends to i we need to go to step 4 at step 9 we have 0 tends to s and in the 10th step we have again 0 tends to i and 0 tends to j and if i greater than n we need to go to step 16 and if j greater than n we need to go to step 15 and if i is equal to j then s is equal to s plus a i j then if j plus 1 tends to j we need to go to step 12 and if i plus 1 tends to i we need to go to step 11 then we can print the trace s then after obtaining uh, the re uh, required result we can stop the program so this is all about trace of a matrix with and without using numpy so that's all about my topic. Thank you.